The water effects are done and I've finished my terrain square corner. Time for a showcase. Next speaking, and welcome to this video. Right, the terrain square corner piece that I'm doing uh, to run alongside the uh, terrain square competition is finished. Uh, I have to say, I'm really, really happy with it. I'm gonna just run over the piece in more detail in a second. Uh, but first of all, just a huge shout out to my two sponsors of the terrain square competition. That's War Games and also Inside Out Terrain. Uh, please check out the links in the description below if you haven't done so already. Right, okay, so, uh, yeah, the water effects was all that was left to do, and as you can see, uh, they've gone down pretty well. Um, now, I'm going to take the camera off the tripod in a second and uh, have a closer look, uh, but first of all, just to let you know that I've made um, a sort of tutorial video of me actually making the water effects. Uh, not everything went um, completely smoothly, um, but um, nothing too disastrous. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave uh, that video for you to check out if you want to find out more details about how the water effects actually went. Um, but yeah, let's have a closer look at them. Right, so I'm just going freehand, so apologies for too much shakiness. Uh, but yeah, let's just uh, have a, a closer look. So this is how they are looking. Now this is supposed to be uh, gauze fluid. And I think I got the coloration just about right. Uh, really, really happy with the coloring. Looks really, really cool. And looks almost like the green rods as well. Just gonna come over to this side. And you can see I've got some additional rocks in there, which um, has helped given it a little bit more detail. Um, on the pipe, I've just got the two, uh, well, four little uh, green rods and as I said they look pretty similar so that's quite good and then to the main section itself so this is the explosion now admittedly I'm not a hundred percent happy with this well let's well it's I'm not unhappy with it but it's, it wasn't quite how my vision was um, so first of all it's not particularly see-through um, so you can't really see the details that I put down however I know there is a Blood Angel's helmet in there, so that's all that counts. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it does look pretty cool. It definitely looks like there's been some sort of explosion, something's happened there, there's some bubbles coming up and stuff, and uh, a bit of different colorations as well, there's some yellows in there and things. Um, and it definitely looks as if something has happened in that area. Um, so on the whole, I'm happy with it. As I said, it just doesn't look quite like I envisaged it, um, but it still looks pretty cool. And that's the submerged bike and then just uh, walk around to the other side and we've got obviously that little pool there now I've got it currently placed in the corner of my board how it's going to be if we're gaming it's pretty cool and I think it takes up a good amount of the board that people will actually use it just going to walk around the other side so you can see the back so that is how it's looking if you were playing this end, pretty cool. There you go. Now obviously it will go in the corner in this position, but um, it could go in the opposite corner as well. So I'm just gonna set up in the opposite corner so you can see how it looks there. Right, there you go. So that is another way to play the piece. And that was one reason why I put the pipes sort of on both sides. So if you had it at this sort of angle, you still have somewhere to hide behind and also if you had it in this sort of angle again you've got more people you know things to hide behind so yeah that's the piece so I really really hope you like it um, as I said I'm really really happy with it I think it's probably one of the best pieces that I've made I think it looks pretty cool okay so um, yeah please uh, share comment like and subscribe uh, please hit that bell button right next to the subscribe button so you can keep up to date with the wonders of Warhammer 40k and uh, I shall see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.